I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent test question based on implicit differentiation. The question here is, the folium Descartes is a curve defined by the equation x cube plus y cube minus 3xy equals to 0. Determine the equation of the tangent line at point on the curve where the tangent line is parallel to the y-axis. So let's talk about the equation for a moment, right? Folium really means leaf. So the family of the curves could be actually sketched something like, uh, let me sketch it here, like a leaf, right? So, so we basically have a leaf here. So that's the part of like leaf which is coming like this, right? So that's the leaf we're talking about. And in general, the equation uh, x cube plus y cube minus 3 axy equals to 0. In our case, a is 1. Correct? Okay. Now, now let's look into the equation itself. It says determine the equation of tangent line at point on the curve where the tangent line is parallel to y-axis. So we want vertical tangent, right? So we are looking for undefined slope. So we need vertical tangent. That means undefined slope. So I hope the question is absolutely clear. So we could see there are two. One is on this side. So, you know, it's not very accurate. So one is really along the y-axis. The other one's kind of here. So we are basically looking for these points. Is it okay? So these are the points which we are looking for. So let's see how to solve and then get the answer. Equation given to us is x cube plus y cube minus 3xy equals to 0. Let's differentiate with respect to x. So we get 3x square plus 3y square dy dx minus 3y minus 3x dy dx equals to 0. Now bring down common factors, right? Group them. So we get 3y square minus 3x dy dx. Let me take the other terms on the right side. So we get 3y minus 3x square. So dy dx is equal to 3 is common y minus x square divided by again 3 is common here also y square minus x so 3 and 3 cancel out so we get the derivative as equal to y minus x square divided by y square minus x for undefined slope denominator should be 0 perfect so for vertical line y square minus x should be equal to 0 and that gives you the condition that x equals to y square so from this derivative we get our condition and now we can find the points Clearly, this is not a function, right? It's a relation. Substituting y square for x in our equation, we get y square whole cube plus y cube minus 3y square y equals to 0. Or we can write this as y to the power of 6 plus this is, let me rewrite cube minus 2y cube equals to 0. So that is y to the power of 6 minus, oh sorry, this is 3. When you take away, then you get minus 2y cube 
equals to 0. Taking y cube common, we get y cube minus 2 equals to 0. So that gives you two values for y. One is y equals to 0. The other one is y equals to cube root of 2, right? 2 to the power of 1 over 3. So this factor gives you y equals to 0. The other one gives you y is cube root of 2. Now since we know x is y squared, so, so here x is equal to 0. And in this case, x is equal to square of this, so it is 2 over 3. So we get our points. So the points are, so this point will basically be cube root of 2, I mean square 2 over 3, and y values 1 over 3. And the other point is at the origin. So this point basically is at the origin. So this is not very accurate. This is at, at 0 itself. So we have two tangents. One of them is the y-axis itself. Right. So let me make it a bolder one. Okay. So the vertical line will be given as what? So what is the equation of tangent? So from here, we get equation of tangent. As, since they are vertical lines, x equal to 0. That's the first equation. The second one is x equals to 2 to the power of 2 over 3. So that's the answer. The, this point is 2 to the power of 2 over 3. Correct? So that is how you can get your equation. Now the question for you is, let me write down question, uh, let me call this as question 2 now. Find equation of tangent line, we can say find uh, points where tangent is A horizontal and B where tangent is uh, with slope equal to 1. Correct? So that is extended question for you. So I've already done for vertical line. So horizontal really means something like this, which will be somewhere here, right? Somewhere on the curve, maybe here, right? So look for horizontal and slope of 1, right? Kind of like this. So that is an extended question for you. I'd like you to practice this. I hope you understand how we have done this solution is a very important test question. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.